Richard Scarry's best silly stories and songs video ever. Welcome to Busy Town. There's the Busy Town Library. Look, there's Huckle Cat and Lowly Worm going to take out a book to read. to read a lot. Hello, Huckle. Hello, Loli. What book would you like today? Loli loves to laugh, so I think we would like a funny book. I've got just the thing. It's called The Silly Storybook. Ah, here it is. The Silly Storybook. That sounds great. Here's my library card. You're all set. Enjoy your book. Thank you, Mr. read -a -lot. We can't wait to read it. Goodbye, Huckle. Goodbye, Loli. Goodbye. Let's go to the park to read our book. Stop, Loli. We have to wait until the light turns green. Look both ways. Okay, now we can cross. This looks like a good spot. Look, Loli, the first story is called Absent-Minded Mr. Rabbit. Every morning, Gertie the crossing guard helps all the children cross the street. She even taught them a little song so they can remember what to do. To cross the street, there's three things you should know. Stop, look both ways, and listen before you go. Stop, look, and listen. You don't know what you're missing. Be smart and start to stop, look, and listen. Mr. Rabbit heard the children singing, but he wasn't really listening. He wasn't looking at the traffic light either. He was too busy reading his newspaper. You see, Mr. Rabbit never, ever watches where he is going. Excuse me, ma'am. Hey, where you going at? Open your eyes, look around, and listen carefully. If you're not wise, you'll find yourself where you don't want to be. Stop, look, and listen. You don't know what you're missing. Be smart and start to stop, look, and listen. So many lollies. Mr. Rabbit still wasn't looking where he was going. He didn't notice the workmen who were making a new sticky, gooey street. Look out! Pay attention, if you don't, you could run out of luck. We should mention, if you won't, you might find you are stuck. Mr. Rabbit began to notice something a little strange. He looked down. And do you know what he saw? He was stuck, stuck in that new sticky, gooey street. Hey, 
Uh, new street? Yep. Nice job. Yep. There's only one problem. I seem to be stuck in it. <laughs> Could you please unstick me? Yep. I've got an idea. The workers got a long pole and tried to pull Mr. Rabbit out. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three! Oh, oh goodness! Oh, dear! <laughs> I I'm terribly sorry, but I'm still stuck. Yep. Do you have any other ideas? Yep. Then they tried to pull him out with a rope. Okay, pull ahead. Excuse me, please, but I'm still stuck. Yep. Do you have any other ideas? Yep. It's Mr. Rabbit again, huh? What's he done this time? Got himself stuck in your new street? Yep. Guess we'll have to come and get him out. That's the third time this week that we've had to rescue him. Be there in a jiffy. Yep. Get okay, ready. Guys, get ready. Ready. okay, turn on the water. Get turn ready. Right down. The firefighters tried to squirt him out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still stuck. Yep. yep. What was poor Mr. Rabbit to do? That's when Glenda Goat came driving by on her brand new power shovel. Could she get Mr. Rabbit unstuck? The power shovel dropped Mr. Rabbit gently to the ground. <laughs> well, what do you know? Unstuck at last. Yep. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mr. Rabbit thanked everyone and promised that from now on, he would always look where he was going. I'm terribly sorry for all the trouble I caused. I promise I'll look where I'm going from now on. I will never, ever not pay attention again. I can absolutely guarantee you of that. <laughs> nice boat. That was funny, wasn't it, Loli? I bet Mr. Rabbit watches where he's going from now on. <laughs> Let's see. The next story is called Mr. Fix-It Fixes It. Mr. Fix-It can fix anything in Busy Town. At least, that's what he thinks. And because things are always breaking down in Busy Town, Mr. Fix-It is very, very busy. He fixed the flat tire on Marvin Mouse's car. Don't you think you should stop now, Mr. Fix-It? Not yet. Stop! Hey! Hey, stop it! Whoa! Uh. Mr. Fix-It also fixed Mrs. Cat's vacuum cleaner. I really wanted it to vacuum the floor, Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> he even fixed Hilda Hippo's toaster. Your toaster is as good as new, Hilda. <laughs> well, maybe not quite. I wasn't hungry anyway. I'll come back later. Hi, Mr. Fix-It. Oh, hello, Freddy. What can I do for you? My tricycle horn is broken. It doesn't go honk-honk anymore. Could you fix it? <sighs> no problem, Freddy. Just put your tricycle over there. 
I'll get to it soon. Why don't you come back for it at 3 o'clock? Thanks, Mr. Fix-It. See you later. As Freddy was leaving, the busy town fire truck pulled up outside Mr. Fix-It's shop. Hi, Fireman Ralph. Hiya, Freddy. Hello, Mr. Fix-It. Oh, hello, Ralph. What can I do for you? The fire truck siren is broken. It doesn't go anymore. Could you fix it right away? No problem, Ralph. I'll have it ready by 3 o'clock. Thanks. See you later. As soon as Fireman Ralph left the shop, in walked Grandma Bear. Hello, Grandma Bear. What do you have for me today? My cuckoo clock seems to be broken. It doesn't go cuckoo, cuckoo anymore. Could you fix it for me? No problem, Grandma Bee. I'll have that cuckoo cuckooing before supper time. Come back at 3 o'clock. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye now. Goodbye. The next person to come to Mr. Fix-It's shop was Lily Bunny. Hi, Mr. Fix-It. Oh, hi, Lily. My doll is broken. She won't say Mama anymore. Hmm. Let me take a look. No problem, Lily. Come back this afternoon at 3 o'clock. And your doll will be as good as new. Gee, thanks, Mr. Fix-It. Bye. Goodbye. Hmm. Now, let me see. That afternoon, at exactly 3 o'clock, everyone came back to Mr. Fix-It's shop my for their things. Oh, I really, I really hey, need Mr. Fix-It, is, is There's my no siren ready yet? Sister. You know, you, you can't go to a fire machine. without a siren. No problem. It? Everything's fixed and as good as new. Here's your siren, thanks. and your thank doll, you. and your cuckoo clock, oh, and here's your horn, Fred. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. When Grandma Bear got home and put her cuckoo clock back up on the wall, something strange happened. <laughs> what? And when the busy town fire truck rushed off to put out a fire, something very funny happened. Mama! 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 Huh? Mama? <laughs> something funny was going on with Freddy's tricycle, too. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Freddy! Huh? <laughs> And when Lily tried to put her dolly to bed, she got a big surprise. Dolly! What's the matter? Keep it down in there, please, Lily. Your brother's taking a nap. What if your clock didn't go cuckoo, <laughs> but went Long. And what if your piano went <laughs> when you tried to play a song? What if your dolly went <laughs> every time you hugged her tight? And what if your daddy went <laughs> when he tucked you in at night? If sounds were not where they belong, things would be strange, it's true. If all the sounds got all mixed up, we'd all be mixed up, too. If a cow went, and a horse went, and your teacher went, <laughs> if a drum went, and a bell went, ouch, and your doctor went, <laughs> what if a siren went, Mama. and a telephone went, <laughs> what if a typewriter went, and a tea kettle went at you. What if a horn didn't go, <laughs> but it went <laughs> instead? And what if your friend went 
And that was all she said. If sounds were not where they belong, things would be strange, it's true. If all the sounds got all mixed up, we'd all be mixed up too. Oh, Mr. Fix It, we've got a problem. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Mr. Fix-It ever fixed anything right. These stories are really silly, Loli. Let's see what the next story is about. Paw Pig's New Car. One day, Paw Pig decided to buy a new car. He certainly needed one, don't you think? Good morning, Mr. Pig. Looks like you got here <laughs> just in time. Here are the keys to your new car. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, kids, hop in. Okay. We'll sit in the back seat. Goodbye. I love our new car. I love anything with wheels. Let's see how many things with wheels we can count. A bicycle. A tricycle. A van with great big tires. And there's a fire engine that is always fighting fires. That's four. Let's keep looking. A city bus. Pickup truck, a sporty car for two, and there's a teeny tiny car painted red and blue. Wheels go round and round and take you everywhere. As long as wheels keep rolling, you can get from here to there. As long as Pig had some errands to run before the pigs went home again. First, he drove to the drugstore. We got the toothpaste Ma wanted. What's next on our list? When Paw Pig came out of the drugstore, he got into Sergeant Murphy's police car by mistake. Pa, are you sure this is the car you wanted? Of course it is. This is a much nicer car than our old one. I bet Ma will love it. <laughs> Paw Pig got into the wrong car because he'd forgotten his glasses. Stop! Help! My car! Police! Oh, wait a minute. I am the police. Hey, wait a minute. Come back here. Wheels go round and round and take you everywhere. As long as wheels keep rolling, you can get from here to there. Next, Pa drove to a fruit stand to buy some bananas. Hi, Frida. Can I have some bananas, please? Why, certainly. Here's a nice bunch, Mr. Pig. Thanks, Frida. Bananas! This time, Pa got into Bananas Gorilla's Banana Mobile by mistake. I hope Ma likes our new car. Well, yellow is her favorite color. <laughs> <gasps> hey, wait, stop! My banana mobile! Wheels go round and round and take you everywhere. As long as wheels keep rolling, you can get from here to there. As long as wheels keep rolling, Stop! Stop! Oh, 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 oh. Paw Pig had no idea that he was being chased by Bananas Gorilla and Sergeant Murphy. On the way home, the Pig family stopped to watch some firefighters put out a fire. Oh dear, it's getting a little late. We'd better get back home. 
This time, they left in the fire engine. Hey, wait! Stop! Our fire engine! Oh, dear. I'm afraid that something is not quite right, children. What is it, Pa? <laughs> My glasses. I must have left them in the drugstore. We'll have to go back. <laughs> when the pig family got to the drugstore, Pa found his glasses right away. Ah, that's better. Now, let's go home. Wheels go round and round and take you everywhere. As long as wheels keep rolling, you can get from here to there. An ice cream truck that's out of luck. A truck that's good for towing. We're happy they have wheels because it's wheels that keep things going. Wheels go round and round and take you everywhere. As long as wheels keep rolling, you can get from here to there. Hello, Ma. Do you like our new car? It's beautiful, Pa. But where are the packages, dear? The packages? That's odd. I don't know. Here's your toothpaste, Mr. Pig. Uh, thank you, Sergeant Murphy. <laughs> bananas! Uh, thanks, Bananas. <laughs> Paw Pig never did figure out how Sergeant Murphy and Bananas Gorilla ended up with his toothpaste and bananas. And Sally and Harry Pig never told him. <laughs> I guess Paw Pig forgot his glasses again. <laughs> <laughs> the end.